Well, maybe I should send a note to Sergeant Consuelo or whatever and thank her for letting me have you at all, huh? Come on, will you? Come on. Wait a minute, hold up. What are you doing? It's a new routine in our house. It's called checking for lipstick. I think you're clean. It's oh, would you knock it off? Come on, will you? I had a tough day today and I just don't need any wise guy remarks when I come home. Any beer? No, I don't have any beer. Throw it all out, Vinny. Of course we got beer. Where do you think it is anyway? Mm. I wasn't trying to be funny before, you know. Yeah, well, you could have fooled me. Well, it's just that I like surprises, honey. If, if something is happening that's going to be a problem in my life, I'll let you know what it is. <sighs> Come on, will you? <clears throat> no problem, you don't believe me, do you? Oh, I, I told you what happened. I know you told me, and I would love to believe you. Oh. I would like to believe you. Wanda, yeah. if you could just see her, honey, you would understand that if oh, we got to fool around, sorry, you know, I, I, I wouldn't fool around. What am I saying? I didn't do anything. You understand? I didn't do anything. You got me, you know, like, like a three-time loser up on a witness stand. Where's the paper? I ate it. It's over there where it always is. What do you think? Now, look, I, I, I had a very, very rough day, and, and I, would, I would appreciate no... No comments, all right? You understand? No stuff like you're doing when, when I come home. You really have a rough day? Yeah, you wouldn't believe me. You want to tell me about it? No, I'd rather not talk about it. Honey, how can I give you any sympathy if you're not going to talk to me? I don't want any sympathy. What? Vinny, I think what we've got here is a little communication problem. No, I think what we've got here, Wanda, is a suspicious wife problem. Oh, no. Oh, no. Listen, Vinny, when you were on the regular uniform force, you used to come home and tell me everything you did. You tell me where you went, what you did, who you gave a ticket to that day. Now, now that you're some kind of hot shot detective, it's like the CIA. What's the matter? Don't you think you can trust me to keep my mouth shut or anything? Come on, would you? You know, I, I trust you more than you trust me. Oh, I trust you, Vinny. I trust you. Just that I can't believe that cockamamie story you told me about the lipstick, that's all. <sighs> Vinny... You haven't been very happy the last couple of weeks, and I can't help thinking that maybe it's me. Is it? No. And what is it? It's everything. Honey, that is not a very helpful answer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just that this whole world is just turned upside down and just going nuts. There is nothing that, that you can, you know, just take hold of and believe in. I mean, the things that they make a man do. What's the use? Sydney Lang and Anita. That's right. 
You know, I'm sure they'd be more than happy to see you after all this time. We could have dinner and, and go to a show if I could fit it in around the interview. Thank you uh, for thinking of me, though. You give me one good reason why not. Oh, well, um... First of all, the weather is very bad in New York at this time of year. Uh, no worse than it is right here. Well, I, uh... I really don't have anything to wear, you know. All of my stuff is at the cleaners. So I could pick it up for you tomorrow morning. And, and your hair looks great. If that's the next excuse you were going to throw at me. All right, Paul, look, um, I would love to go. Really? I mean, I would love to go. I would love to see people, especially uh, Sydney and Anita. But, um, well, let's face it. They would only ask about Brian, and then I would have to tell them and uh, have to explain. Pat, uh, they know what's happened. Remember, they sent you a note and some flowers? Well, anyway, this, this subject would still come up, and, and they would feel a necessity to be sympathetic, and, and then they would ask questions. And... No, no, you go. Uh, maybe I'll go the next time. You know how many times you say that. Every time I ask you to go someplace with me, you say, maybe tomorrow. Don't push me. Well, I wonder what I could tell Edwina. Well, then she'll be there, of course. I'm perfectly all right here. Maybe she could handle the interview herself. No, don't be silly.
that happen to you? <laughs> no. No, it didn't, but, you know, Mom always hovered over Brad, and she never did that over me, so. I still have cravings, you know. I have some uh, chocolate ice cream in the freezer. You want to help me eat it? Oh, sure. Okay. Thank you. 